a flesh-eating predator who's a master of illusion, changing its shape and color at will. It can hypnotize its prey, or even become invisible. They've developed this skin that can do the amazing changes in color and changes in shape. And you couldn't get a weirder looking animal. Every place they go, they are morphing into something that looks a lot like that environment. How does an animal that's related to a slug manage such clever tricks? You get a sense there's a hell of a lot going on in those brains, but we're struggling to kind of understand how they work. Nova dives into a stunning and bizarre world as researchers probe the surprising brain power Three, two, one. and explore the conjuring magic of one of the strangest creatures alive today. We are testing an animal that's very alien. It's as close, perhaps, as we're going to get to studying an animal on another planet. Kings of Camouflage, right now on Nova. Dive into the oceans off Europe or Australia, and you might encounter a strange and elusive animal. This is nature's greatest master of disguise, the cuttlefish. Its visual wizardry and clever behavior have fascinated and mystified scientists for years. When you come across your first cuttlefish, they are the most amazing creatures. They're either a pair of eyes staring out of a bush of seaweed, or they're these sort of small alien spaceship. And you couldn't get a weirder looking animal underwater. Captivated by these bizarre creatures is marine biologist Mark Norman, based at the Museum Victoria in Southern Australia. The thing that fascinates me about cuttlefish is that they are so different from what's familiar to us. And when you dive with them and see all the things they're capable of, you just can't help being drawn to them. Cuttlefish have been performing their own brand of magic for millions of years in oceans around the world, though not in the Americas. Technically, cuttlefish aren't fish at all but mollusks, soft-bodied animals without a spine, a group that includes snails and clams. But these animals have no outer shell. They're a kind of cephalopod, along with their more famous cousins, octopus and squid. Cuttlefish might be lesser known, but they're no less talented. In the blink of an eye, their skin can change color, pattern, even shape. They've developed this skin that can do the amazing changes in color and changes in shape. And what fascinates me the most is how different cuttlefish species have taken that basic tool that probably evolved for camouflage, and they've taken it a step further and said, all right, how can we use this in other ways? So what else are these peculiar animals capable of? There are over 100 different species of cuttlefish. One of the strangest lives in the waters of Indonesia. And Mark Norman has come here to try and track it down. Very nice place. What is the diving like? With the help of local guide Ronald Sorante, Mark will search the reefs for the elusive broad club cuttlefish, a shapeshifter with some particularly weird habits. Okay, are you ready, Mark? Yep, after you.
The first problem when you come to these sorts of tropical areas is just even finding an animal. You swim over huge areas of reef and you're probably swimming over lots of animals but you have no idea they're there because they're excellent at camouflage. Cuttlefish often have favorite stomping grounds, and it's Ronald's local expertise which brings Mark face to face with his first broad club cuttlefish. When you first approach cuttlefish, within sort of 10 or 15 minutes, you can get fairly close to them and they're checking out you as much as you're checking them out. And that's the most exciting time to sit and watch their behaviours because after a while they get used to you and they will allow you to accompany them while they go off to catch food and these guys have developed the most amazing way to do it. Cuttlefish are often hungry and on the lookout for a tasty treat. Sneaking up in coral camouflage is one hunting trick. But if this fails, the broad club cuttlefish gives up all attempts at being inconspicuous and instead pulls out all the stops with a dazzling show that seems to stun its prey and leaves it helpless. How can an animal turn itself into something as flashy as a Las Vegas marquee? Halfway around the world at the Marine Biological Laboratory in Woods Hole, Massachusetts, Roger Hanlon is trying to deconstruct the cuttlefish's visual pyrotechnics. Checkers, anyone? They got white and dark. Roger's cuttlefish work hard to blend in even to the most unnatural environments, thanks to their versatile skin. There's no skin on Earth like a cuttlefish. These animals can change instantaneously. The diversity is fantastic. Chameleons are boring by comparison. So how does cuttlefish skin work its magic? Their skin is extraordinary because it has two ways to produce color and pattern. The secret lies in specialized layers of skin cells. The top layer are the pigmented cells that give you most of the patterning. And they, they are layered. They have a yellow, a red, and a brown. One little pigment cell is this little ball of color all tightly bound up so you don't see it, and it has muscles attached to it, and the muscles can pull that pigment sac out into a little disc of color. And then when the muscles let go, it just, boink, goes right back in and you don't see anything. And so it's a very simple mechanism. Next, there's a deeper layer of iridescent reflecting cells that produce blue and green, along with red and pink. Add a white base, and the cuttlefish palette is complete. There is no limit to the colors they can show in their skin. It's really marvelous. Along with color and pattern, the skin can change its texture too, pushing up bumps along its surface. Well, this enables you to fool any visual predator there is. It's much better than the Harry Potter invisible cloak. There's no comparison. This is real camouflage. They're doing it the real way. To match their surroundings, cuttlefish rely on their eyesight. As strange as it may appear to us, their W-shaped pupils provide excellent vision. So here you have this magnificent eye. 
this eye can see things very, very well. Visual cues go straight to the brain, and the brain in turn sends instructions right to the skin cells. It's the fastest possible way, direct control by a nerve. And so we call this electric skin because as soon as the information gets to the brain, the information is taken out of the brain, goes to the skin and says, do this. And it's just boom, 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 boom. You know, it's really quick. The cuttlefish's electric skin usually works for self-defense to make it disappear into the background. But clearly, the Broad Club found a new use for its changeability. My guess is that their skin evolved for camouflage, because as soon as they got rid of the big shell, they had to hide from predators. I think after that, the skin then evolved these patterns for communication, for mating and courtship, and in some cases even for tricking shrimps and fishes that they're going to eat. Back in Indonesia, Mark Norman wants to know exactly what triggers the Broad Club to turn itself into the ultimate exhibitionist. I'm very interested in this strange feeding behavior. And so to try and understand what's going on, we need to get them to do this behavior on cue whenever we want it to happen. By handing them live prey or decoys, they start doing the behavior. You can start analyzing what is it that sets them off when it works best. Mark's first offering of small crabs, their favorite food, is welcome. But it doesn't trigger too many light switches. Next step, offer a bigger lure, like a toy lobster. Will this do the trick? Lobster proves irresistible for as long as it looks alive. Once it stops moving, the Broad Club seems to lose its motivation. When Mark brings the lure back to life, the performance promptly resumes. but not for very long. This cuttlefish is getting bored with toys and is 